Sure, let's get over to meteorologist Alyssa Triplett for the latest on the snow and now the rain that we're seeing. Good morning. Good morning, and we are seeing that transition in place. We started off the system with those snow showers. Some of those reports that have trickled their way on through showing anywhere from even six inches to some record reports for the Minneapolis airport as well as Eau Claire. Minneapolis topping off yesterday's snow totals at about 8.2. Taking in more snow totals for today is going to be a bit more difficult as that transition did start to occur after that midnight time frame. We are noting, though, that there are some spots, areas like St. Cloud here where there's snow-covered roads are in place up through areas of Alexandria as well as even spots two of our Brainerd region will stay with these snow showers. So expect road conditions that we're seeing here on MDOT there to stay with some uh, slick conditions. Now through the metro area, we could see some of those more uh, slushy conditions continue to melt down as rain showers are looking to continue to become our main precipitation type. We're also noting that we're keeping an eye on just south of the metro. There are some moderate rain showers that are pushing in, so might get, might get some decent downpours in place over the next few hours. So note that that transition in full swing. We'll even note that there may be some rumbles of thunder for some portions of southeastern Minnesota. Well, again, as other regions from regions of Duluth, Brainerd, as well as down through St. Cloud and Marshall will stay under some winter weather headlines into tomorrow morning. And we may return to some of those winter headlines as well, as we are seeing that the system is still changing as we roll over in the next 24 to even up to the next 36 hours. But I'll be detailing more with those weather on the nines. Yeah, a lot to detail. <laughs> Thank you, Alyssa. Well, while you were sleeping, more snow fell across the metro. It was just steady, wasn't it? Just, it just steady. It wasn't like up. heavy at one no. time, but it just was very consistent. Consistent. And that quickly turned to rain just in the past few hours. That's left behind a lot of wet, heavy snow. Bill Keller is live. He's in Hopkins with uh, what they're doing there in those neighborhoods. You've seen some of those wet berms people have been going over this morning. Good morning, Bill. Good morning. Yeah, I'm standing pretty much in the tire tracks of a one driveway. This is what it took to get out of their driveway. That's probably the worst part of their commute. Hopefully the side streets have been plowed uh, and they are I can't I wouldn't call them dry, but I would call them free of snow. In fact, take a look. We'll show you this is the actual snow plow that came through here a couple of hours ago. Uh, it seems the strategy was for a lot of these folks a lot of these uh, suburbs is to kind of wait for the snow to stop falling, wait till it starts to rain, and then just clear the roads and do it once. But again, you can see, look at all the work that has been left behind. In fact, this homeowner uh, was unable to start his snowblower. Don't know if that would have made a huge difference because this is so thick and so wet. A neighbor just down the road had his snowblower, but had a really difficult time uh, trying to eliminate this berm at the end of his driveway. But this is what folks are dealing with this morning as they get up. Again, it doesn't look like a lot of snow on your lawn or even on your driveway, but once you start to push it, it really starts to pile up. And you can think about how this is going to affect those roads that have not been plowed just yet. Thankfully, again, temperatures above freezing, so it's not going to uh, at least be too slippery uh, when you're out there. Back to you guys. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. It's you. just so heavy. It's so you got to be careful when you're shoveling slop. today. Very, very true. Heavy yeah. stuff. Thank you, Bill. Uh, we know hundreds of local kids are waking up to a snow day right now. Yeah, Hannah Flood is in the live center tracking the closings as they are coming in. And this was what they were waiting for all winter long. <laughs> yeah. And they got it in the spring. Yeah, no kidding. Better late than never. I, I'm sure there are a lot of little eyeballs watching our screens this morning, hoping their school comes across. A, a big one here just over an hour ago, Anoka Hennepin Schools announced that they are closing for the day. Now, most other school districts in the metro are still open, but to the north and the west into Wisconsin, we are seeing a, a handful of those closings. Here are some of the districts that are closed today along with Anoka Hennepin, Fergus Falls, North St. Paul, Maplewood, Oak Dale, Brainerd, and Menominee in Wisconsin. Several districts did decide to go with a two-hour delay today. That includes Edina, Bemidji, Hastings, St. Cloud, and Hudson, Wisconsin. Finally, there are also a few colleges and universities being impacted this morning. At Hamlin, all classes before 10 a.m. are virtual. Hennepin Technical and U of M Morris, they're closed today, and Anoka Technical is on a two-hour delay. And that's just a small sampling of those school closings, those delays. Check out the full list uh, scrolling at the bottom of your screen, but you can also just go to our website, fox9.com, to figure out if you've been impacted.